Hello. This is Renegade Mac and Cheese with a new series of Final Fantasy XIV. And I have played this before. This is my main character. But this is going to be who I'm going to play with. Um, I'm going to go. God, will I figure this out? Yeah, it's kind of a want to experience the story again as I play it, not just through cutscenes. <laughs> oh, bad. And we're going to start from a level one. We're going to. The first part's going to be a realm reborn. Going to unlock as much as I can. Also going to unlock a relic weapon. Part two, each part is going to be a separate expansion. So that's how that's going to work. It's going to be unlocking everything important and let me turn the light on. Hey, now I can see shit. Okay, yes, there will be foul language. And hopefully I'll get better at this as time goes on. So, let's get this party started once I turn that down just a little. Right? One. Thank you. Okay. As you can see, I like the same first name. I wouldn't use the same last name, but since I'm on the same server as my regular character, I can't do that. So I'm doing from a different show. Doing one of my other favorite shows, their last name. Well, here we go. And of course, I'll cut. I'll cut all this out. There we go. Oh. 
I'll try not to talk during cutscenes that have voiceovers. Hey. Hey, you. Oi. Yeah, all right, lass. You were moaning something fierce for a while there. I have no talent for accents. Feeling the effects of the ether, I reckon. You'll get used to it, though. Don't worry. That's what worries me. You there, halt! What's all this about? Inspection. Men, search the carriage. I'm just an honest peddler, friend, so we're... don't be too disappointed if you don't find nothing, eh? Mind your tongue, old man, let's not cut it out. Sir, look, it's ominous. Honest peddler, was it? Since when do honest peddlers deal in prohibited herbs? Now, are these like herbs or herbs that you're talking about? You're in a lot of trouble, old man. You'll ride into dungeon till the end of your days, unless you can afford the fine. Yeah, business as usual. Wait. Wah. I'm all job. I'm all job. Two arms. Two arms. Yes, they have two arms. All of them do. Seven hells, cause took this a warning. Now go, all of you. Yeah, do your fucking jobs. Yeah, that's what you get. Whew. That kind of excitement ain't good for the heart. You be careful around them ba brass bill. You be careful around them brass blades, lass. That is a tongue twister. Bastards will have the shirt off your back if they fancy it. Like common bandits, they are only less honest. Thank the gods for sending some beastmen to the rescue, eh? Hey, seeing as we're 
seeing as we've still got a long ride ahead, you mind keeping keeping me company till we arrive? Them youngins don't much care for conversation, see? Rinse the name and peddling me trade. And judged by your unusual garments, I'd wager you're one of them new fangled adventurers. Uh, yeah. Knew it. Going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory. Now that's what I call living. As so long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventure, adventuring's a risky business. I never saw that movie. These days especially. What was it that first attracted you to it? Huh. Can't remember what the each one of these has a different reward at the end of the cutscene. Let me look it up. Thank you. Okay, to gain power, you get a crit hit rating plus one ring. To win glory, ring of fidelity, which is a vitality plus one ring. To gain power is ring of fortitude, which is a crit hit rating plus one. To win glory is ring of fidelity, which is vitality plus one ring. To amass a fortune is ring of fortune, CP plus five, which is good for crafting. And ring of, and if you do the three dots, it's uh, ring of freedom, which is a determination plus one. Um, I think I'm gonna do. Hmm. I'm of two minds. Higher a uh, small CP bump when I start crafting or crit hit rating for battle jobs. You know what? Do that. And the small CP bump. For today, <laughs> then I reckon you'll fit in. You'll fit right in where we're going. Once you've learned to handle yourself in a fight, you'll want to pay a visit to whichever crafting or gathering guild tickles your fancy. There's plenty to choose from too, whether it be weaving, alchemy, goldsmithing, or mining that answers to you. Old Oz got a place where you can learn your trade. Adventuring ain't just about killing things after all. A peaceful pastime may well help make help you make your fortune. I cannot fucking read. Just remember though, there's more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. I think that was a song line. By the by, is this your first trip to Ulda? On this character, yes. It is? Well then, let this journeyed itinerant tell you the ins and outs of your destination. Old Oz ruled by the Sultana in name, but as most folk know, the Syndicate holds all the real power. Them and their monetarist cronies would happily get rid of her grace altogether, but that won't happen while she still commands the loyalty of the Royalists and the royalists are nothing if not loyal of the loyalists these factions have long fought over power throwing the weight of their wealth against each other and they show no sign of stopping of course the lizard men they do not look like lizards that's the owl jaw couldn't care less about old dawn politics they have their own interests and they ain't afraid to use force to serve them They say war is a gift to peddlers, need, breed, and profit, and, and though it shames me to say it, I'm inclined to agree. 
Add log glass. Behold Olda. Jewel of Thanalan, where folk turn sand into gold. And I don't think they can do that. It's sand into glass. Deep in the sun baked south, surrounded by the shifting sands of an endless desert, she rises. A solitary rose amidst the dust and rock, a symbol of defiance. Her name, Ulda. Even with the coming of the seventh umbral era, hope springs eternal for the mongers and merchants who vie for lost fortunes in this bustling oasis. As the twin faces of Nold Thal maintain their vigil over all that has been and shall be, the present proffers a brave soul. One whose arrival could mark the beginning of a new era of prosperity for the realm. And here's where we part ways, lass. I'm off to the market to deliver me wares. Then it's on to the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this. By way of thanks for putting up with me prattle. You never did tell me your name though. Hey, but there's an idea. Become the sort of storied personage I can brag about having met, and I'll consider a square. May the traders nurture our fortunes as they kindle the flames which burn within us all. For by fire are we reborn. Once I get out of the tutorial level, I will be getting some things that I got for being a longtime subscriber that will assist in all of this. Oh, adventure over here. I, I mean you. Okay. Fresh off the carriage by any chance, eh? How can I tell? Ha! Name's Wyman, and my business is knowing every bugger else's. Now then, what if I was to offer you some invaluable advice by way of welcome to our fair city? Free of charge even, just this once like. Welcome to Alda, the shining beacon of prosperity rising from the deserts of Thanalan. Please select the control scheme you wish to use. I have always played with a gamepad. Follow the instructions to move your character and adjust the position of the camera. When you're ready to proceed, speak to Wymond. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to cut it here and when I get back I will have my UI set up the way I want it.
Okay, and back to the game. Okay, I have my HUD the way I want it, and I have my hot bars the way I want them. Which that will change once I hit 30 and hit Paladin, and all of that will go away. But for now, this is what I'm going with. Okay, starting my first quest. Coming to Ulda. You must register yourself with the Adventurer's Guild. Joy. It is plain to anyone with eyes that you don't know your way around here. If I let you go wandering off down the nearest dark alley, you're certain to get mugged or worse. And I don't want that on my conscience. All right, Jiminy Cricket. Jiminy Cricket. So before you do anything else, you'll want to head over to the quicksand and speak with Momodi. She's the master of the Al Adventurer's Guild, almost said Alchemist Guild, and can set you on the right path. Yeah, about there. Just take those steps over yonder and pass through the double doors. You'll find her inside. And as much as you're get, and that's as much as you're getting for free. Good luck with the adventuring adventurer. This is essentially the tutorial part of it. Yeah, <laughs> duty. Too far up. Hang on. We're gonna switch these around. That's gonna go there. That's gonna go there. There. Okay, last uh, adjustment. <laughs> this is the Inventor's Guild. Okay, now, what should you notice? Notice the difference. It's just NPCs. Part two. This Momodi here. Point, point, point. That book did something bad to her. She's waving her finger. Why, hello there. Who might you be? If you're looking to join the Adventurers Guild, you come to the right place. Name's Moody, and I own this fine establishment, if it please you. Sure. I also manage the Adventurers Guild here in Ulda, so you might say that looking after green adventurers like yourself is my vocation. I am not wearing any green. Like if for you, that is. Without someone like me to steer you right, you'd soon find yourself out in the middle of nowhere, cop in business you don't understand. Like our conflict with the Amaljaw, for example. They've been plaguing the salt net for nigh on, ooh, forever now. Then there's the Garlean Empire. None can say for sure what they're plotting these days, only that they are. Aye, the people drink and make merry, but underneath it all, there's worry, worry, and a lingering feeling of loss. And little wonder, it's scarce been five years since the lesser moon cracked open like a giant egg, releasing an abomination intent on turning the realm into an eight hell. That, uh, wow. So much was lost in the blink of an eye. It was like the end of the world had come at last. 
But then things began to get foggy. Everyone's got their own version of what happened next, some of them two or three. Like a Pokemon game. You'd think that people would remember something like that, but the fact is, they don't. Nobody does. There's one thing the survivors agree on, though. The part played by a band of adventurers who laid down their lives for a realm that wasn't their own. They felt valiantly, and like so many others, they never returned. Gee, it's worth remembering, I'm sure you'll agree. It's just a shame our recollections of those brave heroes are as jumbled as those of the Calamity itself. Whenever we try to, rec whenever we try to call their faces to mind, it's like they're standing between us and the midday sun, permanently silhouetted. I'll bet that sounds poetic to you, doesn't it? Well, it's not. It's bloody infuriating. No need for language. Even if we can't remember them, we'll not let them be forgotten, and so we call them the Warriors of Light. And they'll forever stand as a shining example of what adventurers can achieve. That's why I welcome new arrivals like yourself to our fair city. All I ask is that you lend a help in hand, I'll lend to, and try to leave Old Aw in a better state than you found her. If you can promise that, I'll be happy to let you join the guild. Okay. Alright then, a promise is a promise is a promise now. But what about later? I'm counting on your help to put the past behind us. Or behind in our past. We need people working and spending and bickering like the old days. And a happy, prosperous old uh, means more business for the quicksand too. Any road, let's make this official. Go ahead and write your name in the register, neat as you can. Aaron Durolo. And if you know that last name, then good on you. Well, ain't that a charming name? Just rolls off the tongue, it does. All right, Miss Dorolo, on behalf of the Adventurers Guild, I officially, that's Lady Dorolo, thank you. Please, sir, be merciful. 12 was my witness. I swear to you, I'll bring your money. In the East, it is said that even a merciful God might be driven to vengeance if thrice blasphemed. You look like a douche. Be grateful you were given a fourth chance to offend you. You too, offend, attend to this scum. Well, ain't that a sorry sight, nor an uncommon one, if I'm honest. Don't worry, though. If you work hard, I doubt you'll end up like him. Just the same, if you, never, if you ever need a bit of advice about one thing or another, pay me a visit. Just don't go bother me every time you stub your bloody toe, all right? Again with the language. Of course, I do hear a lady muse on the many hoods of her acquaintance from time to time. Any road, welcome to Old Da, Aaron. Take a moment to catch your breath, and I'll teach you a little about a, a little about our fair city. Okay. Notice that it's empty. Still just NPCs. It concludes the introductory game tutorial. Taking the first step as an adventurer in the city of Ulda. Listen well to the wisdom of Mamodi Modi. Then go forth and discover the incredible adventures that await you. Okay. Level two, level two. Mamodi, the proprietress of the quicksand, wants you to perform three tasks that will help you learn the fundamentals of adventuring. Before you go charging off to find your fortune, I have a few basic tasks I'd like you to perform so as to help you get to know the place. 
First of all, I want you to visit the Aetherite Plaza. To get there, head west from here until you reach the Emerald Avenue, then look to the north. You should see a giant floating crystal called an Aetherite. If it weren't for Aetherites, traveling around Eorzea would be a damn sight more troublesome than it is. Of course, you still need to attune with them before you can use them, so be sure to do that with the one in the plaza. You ever attune with an Aetherite before, Aaron? If not, just lay your hand on the thing and you'll see what I mean. When you've done that, I want you to pay a visit to the Gladiators Guild over at the Colosseum. Assuming that sword ain't just for show, you might consider trading there. And finally, I want you to visit the Sapphire Avenue Exchange over on the steps of Thal. Goods from across Eorzea and beyond turn up there every day. You'll have no trouble finding armor, weapons, or anything else a fledgling adventurer like yourself might need. You might say that everything's for sale here in Elda as long as you've got the guild. Just make sure you don't pay any more than you ought, Aaron. What is this, Shakespeare? There's plenty as won't scruple to swindle unsuspecting foreigners like yourself, especially if they think no one's looking out for their best interests, which is why I'm giving you this letter. When you visit the exchange, find a gentleman named Cesaroga and give it to him. He'll be happy to tell you about the markets once he's read it. In short, visit the... Thank you, TLDR. <laughs> visit the Aetherite Plaza, the Gladiators Guild, and the Sapphire Avenue Exchange. Simple. <sighs> 15 minutes of exposition, and then clip notes. Oh, but before you go, a word of advice. While there's more than a few unsavory characters out there who will try to take advantage of you, there are also some with honest-to-goodness problems who you should consider offering helping hand to. A lot of folk are lured to the city by the promise of wealth and power. What many of them fail to realize is that instead of chasing after Gil the moment they get here, they ought to be making friends. Let it be known that you're willing to give as much as you get, and opportunities will come your way. Speaking of which, you should speak with the smith over yonder. See, he's a green adventurer. He's wearing green. Those lads always have some good advice for up and coming adventurers. Otherwise, that's about it for me. It's past time you got going. Oh, and let me know when you finish, will you? That way I won't spend my days worrying that you're down to your small clothes without a guild in your name. That'll never happen. Oh, that is a person. Cool. Wow. It's less crowded than I thought it would be. Okay. Going to the delivery moogle.
Okay, I have returned, and I have what I can currently get. So... Time to go searching. And the Aetherites allow fast travel through the city. So we will get any that we need. Yep. Fast travel with the Aetherant stuff. Help me, Dandy. No, I'm good. That does not help. Welcome to the Gladiators Guild, friend. Tell me, are you new to the thrills of Mortal Kombat? Okay, wow. Didn't need to go that heavy. Well, whether you are or not, you're new to us. If you would take your place in these hallowed halls, you must be willing and ready to undergo the most rigorous training. You must endure cuts and bruises beyond counting and like as not far worse. A daunting prospect, I concede, but there is no other way if you mean to take to the blood sands one day. And why wouldn't you? The Coliseum is only the most celebrated place of public entertainment in all of Ulda. Because I don't want to use my abilities for entertainment. I am going to be a shield. Where else would a poor man amass a fortune so vast as to one day allow him to claim a seat on the syndicate? Ah, there's not an old on alive who isn't inspired by the rise of the self-made man. And there's no truer embodiment of this than the gladiator who wins riches and fame with his sword. So it's long and oh, throughout its long and storied history, this guild has nurtured countless champions. Our training methods are second to none, and our members ever strive to develop new techniques. If you desire true glory to fight in triumph, amidst the roar of 10,000 voices, then this is where you belong, adventurer. Think of it. Think of your legacy, and if your soul stirs, join us. And I will get experience and five marmot steaks which are a an appropriate food for gladiator or for a melee job or in this case a tank job what will it be will you rise above the masses and inscribe your name in legend or will you resign yourself to mediocrity and die in obscurity wow that's like the uh, opposite end of the spectrum. Yes, I will join the Gladiators Guild. A decision you shan't regret. One moment, make way for Aaron Dorillo. Fresh meat coming through. Thanks. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Now then, before your enrollment can be considered complete, you must present yourself to First Sword Myla. Mila? Myla? I think it's Myla. 
Seek her out and obtain her approval. Okay, I will also be doing any quests that have a meteor, like the one that's the one that's uh, close to home, the meteor symbol, and I will also do blue exclamation points. Hello. Thank you. You know what? Where is... A bow. <laughs> Thank you for that. Nice little... Nice little nest egg there. Talk to the scary lady. I I heard Lut Lulutsu. So your Eridorolo is a good strong name. On behalf of the Gladiators Guild, allow me to welcome you. I am Myla, Guildmaster here. I don't know if that's how you pronounce your name, that's how I'm going to pronounce your name. So you wish to study our arts? I presume you have your reasons for choosing the sword over all other weapons. Perhaps you'll think it, perhaps you think it easiest to learn. Sword is a simple weapon, but to wield a blade is, uh, to wield a blade well is anything but simple. For every Colosseum champion to emerge from our ranks, there have been countless disappointments who fail to achieve greatness. Bear in mind that Bear that in mind before you answer me, Aaron, for I do not ask this question lightly. Have you the strength to live by the sword, and if it be your fate, die by it? Yes. Then welcome, Gladiator, to your new home. Let's not waste time, shall we? I would gauge your aptitude for the sword. Just outside the gates of Ulda, you'll find plenty of marmots, hornets, and shrews. Play three of each and return here when finished. A simple task, but essential to your training nonetheless. Now go. Okay. Oh, by the way, I have the Helm of Light. Increases experience earned from battle, crafting, and gathering when level 10 or below. And the battle part is mobs. Like, each mob I kill, I earn... 20% extra experience. For crafting gathering, it's every time I gather items or craft items. And then this is a pre-order bonus for the newest expansion, Endwalker. And this one will be my earring until basically Endwalker. Increases experience earned by 30% when level 80 and below. Attributes and item level vary according to class, class job, and current level when equipped. Main attribute, secondary attribute, vitality and determination. That's why I want that. Okay, time to continue exploring. Ah, that's what I forgot. 
Oh. That one. This is a... I think it's a 20 second sprint. And I will only be leveling Paladin, or sorry, Gladiator into Paladin and the crafting and gathering job. Wrong way. And now you see how it works. Okay. Left at Albuquerque. Uh, that is a blue mage NPC. Which I may do blue mage. No, I'm just going to do uh, gladiator to paladin. I think that's Reaper, but I'm not sure. And you are? Oh, a newly come adventurer. But of course, yes, I am Cesaroga. What can I do for you? Ah, you would have me teach you the ways of the marketplace? Very wise. As for my fee, what? You expect me to do it for free? Surely you jest. My dear adventurer, when you ask an old Don for a favor, you should at least try to make it worth his while. Judging by your garb, I rather doubt you could afford my services, but the fact that you offer nothing is laughable. Here, take this letter. It's an A. Oh, Mistress Mamoni instructed you to seek me out, did she? Huh. Consider yourself fortunate to have such influential friends. I shall be brief, and you shall be attentive. You stand in the Sapphire Avenue Exchange, the busiest and most profitable marketplace in the Sultanate. Being advantageously situated in relation to the other city-states, Baldaz markets have ever served as both the literal and figurative centers of Eorzean commerce. All the great overland trade routes lead to our city, and the majority of maritime trade between Vilbran and Aldenard passes through our ports. Because of this, countless companies and consortia Consortia, sorry, have chosen Ulda as their base of operations. 
They're boo? Okay. They see to it that this marketplace is awash with merchants and money lenders day and night. Anything a man could ever desire can be purchased here, provided as he has sufficient funds. Surely there's something you seek, adventurer. A deadlier sword, perhaps? Or a shinier trinket? Trinket? I know trinket. He's a bear. Whatever it is you want, the exchange will have it. To the north, you will find merchants peddling armor and accessories, curatives and crafting materials. And to the south, you will find weapons, tools, and, ass and an assortment of other useful items for sale. Seek out a particular merchant or browse to your heart's content, but do try to remain aloof should you find something that piques your interest. Decisions made in the heat of the moment are usually unwise, especially where coin is concerned. Ahem. That is all the complimentary aid you shall have for me, and far too much for my taste. My regards to Mamodi, now off with you. Off with your body! Go away! Okay, that is the Samurai Jump Unlock. That is the Monk Building. Sorry, Pugilist Building. This is the Thaumaturge's Guild. Okay, and an easy way to find out where you need to go, like the specific location, is you're going to click or you're going to highlight one of the blue text select it and it'll show you where you need to go otherwise you have to go through the menu but this does show you where your current quest and then your completed quest see main scenario Side quest, tribal quest, class quest, grand company quest, and seasonal adventure special quest, and then levs, which I will get into those later when I unlock them. Hail, adventurer, might you have come at the behest of Miss Mamadi of the Quicksand? Yes. And I was slow at doing it. Excellent, which brings us to the matter of the attunement fee. That will be 100,000 gil, if you please, madam. Insert devious laughter. Apology, apolog, apologize. Wow, yeah, apologize, sir. Apologies, but I do so relish the opportunity to make that jest. I don't like relish. The look on your face was absolutely priceless, uh, but the fact that you were so easily deceived suggests to me that you are unfamiliar with the use of aetherites. Allow me to explain. These crystalline 
agglomerations tap into ethereal energies and are primarily used as means to travel swiftly from one place to another basically major major hubs perchance you have heard of return and teleport well these transportation spells make direct use of the aetherites and their connection to the flow of ether given that there is an aetherite in almost every corner of eorzea any adventurer with a mind to explore the realm will wish to seek out and attune herself to each and every one. But even if you have no intention of wandering beyond the Sultanate's borders, it would be prudent of you to attune yourself to any Aetherite you encounter from now on. I pray you found that informative. Should you wish to learn more about Aetherites or transportation magic, I should be happy to answer your questions. Thank you, sir. I now can use the return spell, which means when I use the spell, I will come here. Oh, I need the one next to the adventure skill. Go figure. And while you're doing your main scenario quest or MSQ, you'll want to take care of your class quest as they come up. So basically every five levels until 50, you'll have a class slash job quest. Okay, is this where I need to go? Uh, yes, that is Central Thandalan. Outside. And I gain experience for unlocking the map. Now time to kill a few things. Eh. I do it again. And I do it again. Now, I don't know if if everyone who watches this wants me to show everything or or not show the grindy stuff. Hey! Level three. Level three. Level three. I'll also be doing the uh, hunting log as well. Okay, now you can see, actually, do I want to do that? Yeah, it's a little too dangerous right now. We'll get to see what the return looks like. Return and teleport had the same animation, but a different ending. to Gladiator's Guild.
No, don't talk to her. Okay, talk to Myla. Welcome back, Aaron. I take it you dispatched the beast and with ease. Rest assured there will be far greater challenges to come. If you wish to master the sword, you must test yourself against a wide variety of foes. To this end, I present to you this hunting log. And I will take care of the hunting log as we as we come across them. It contains valuable information on creatures ideal for a gladiator in training. You will doubtless gain valuable experience should you seek out and slay them. It is only with such practice that you will recognize and eliminate the deficiencies in your technique. Your training under me shall continue once the haft sits so snugly in your hand that you cannot imagine holding aught else. Until then, Aaron. And see, level five is the next gladiator quest. Um, <laughs> nice. I have 420 experience. Okay, I'll get 400 experience, which will level me, and I'll get marmot stakes. There we go. And I now have access to the hunting log. Hey, now I have... Now I have the first part of my combo, or the second part of my combo, I should say. Oh, and I don't know if you know this, but all of this stuff is crafting material. And I have it sorted by category, which is items to use, extra items, and crafting material. You know what? Let's do this. Okay, I have returned. I'd say... A third of the, or a half of those were... Uh... From being subscribing for so long and playing 1.0 when it was out even if for a little bit and then of that remaining half half was uh, pre-order bonuses the other half are account wide stuff I got off the, mo the MOG station How's your tour of the city, Aaron? Get lost, did you? 
Hi, well, Old Oz is a big place with lots to see and do, but wandering around aimlessly don't pay the bills. If you're serious about making a living here, you'll need to remember where things are. So when you go exploring, explore like you've got a purpose, eh? What are you, Canadian? All right, then. All this look. Oh. I accidentally hit the button. We must rebuild. Well, younglin. How are you finding our fine old Da then? Got your bearings about you yet? If so, mayhap it's time you ventured beyond the city walls. The bustling streets of Old Da are one thing, but the wilds of Thinland, that's another altogether. I know a bloke you might fancy speaking to. And he you, name of Papashan. You'll find him over at the Old Da dispatch yard. No doubt he'll have some work for you. The dispatch yard's over in central Thanaland. Just head out the door across the hall and you'll see the gate of Nald staring right back at you. Pass through it and head east, you'll come upon it for long. There's dangers beyond the wall though, more than I'd care to count. Nothing too terrible mind you, but fights enough to attack if you draw near. Don't say nobody cared enough to warn you. Okay, there is one thing I need to get. Actually, a few things I need to get. What is this? I've, is this Red Mage? No, that's the Reaper. That would be the Reaper startup quest. And you have to be level 70 to start it. Those are the two new jobs. I believe it's this way. This. No, this is what I need. Orange juice. And. Yeah, each food gives a 3% experience buff for 30 minutes, but then it also gives secondary effects. And. That's the one I'm looking for. Got a stack of those. Thanks to the 10K that that nice PC gave. Inventory, sort. I would do this because it's faster. Always have some kind of food going when you're leveling. And the orange juice is for a later quest. Who is Sebold for? Ah, that is to unlock a dungeon. Okay, that's for later. And I'm not going to worry about getting gear because I will be getting a lot of... I will be getting a lot of levels quickly at the start. So gear will, if I get gear now, it will quickly be obsolete. Okay, see that? The two half moon symbols above the star marmot? That is a hunting log enemy okay and see how riot blade now has the dotted lines around it that means it's a combo so the uh the uh, the second attack will actually do more damage gonna finish this and then go back to the uh, gladiators guild to get my next class quest
because it gives a lot of experience. And return has how long? That is a 900 second recast. That is a 15 minute recast timer. Ah, Aaron, I take you I take it you and your sword have become better acquainted. Then I will now instruct you on another fundamental aspect of what it means to be a gladiator. Commanding an opponent's attention. As gladiators, we are trained to engage enemies at close range, weathering their attacks as we deliver our own. However Wow. However, there are times when we must do battle alongside allies whose talents are not the same as our own. In such a situation, your role is not to slay the enemy in front of you, but to rather defend the man beside you. We do this by eliciting the enmity of our opponents through attacks and techniques designed to incite their hatred. You must learn to draw enemy's attention to yourself and to trust in your stout constitution to endure. In doing so, you protect your weaker comrades who would otherwise perish. To help you better understand this, there's a task I would have you perform. It just so happens that Momodi of the Quicksand has requested our assistance. A gang of Lamensen marauders has paraded into town and begun harassing people outside her establishment. Men like these prey on the weak, but will turn tail and flee at the first sign of defiance. You need not resort to violence. It will suffice to show them that you are not afraid of them and will not tolerate their behavior. Seek out the Lamensons and make your presence known by bellowing Face Me Marauder. In this way, you will protect the people of Valda as you would your allies in battle. Okay, so I need to... There we go. I don't have to talk to him. I just have to emote the menacing marauder. What? You blaming me because this little person pooped his pants? Well, screw him and screw you too. Ill-mannered marauder. Know your friend here is a cheat. Thinks he can charge us more because we're foreigners. But he'll get his own back, Mark B. Words. Come on now, he was disrespecting me proud Seawolf heritage. Fine, I'll leave the the person be, 
but we're not finished. Just turn around and walk away, adventurer. Are you deaf? Get lost. Oh yeah. That. That's why you have to emote at them. The hell's your problem? Maybe she likes her men rough. Wow, you're an asshole. Where are you supposed to be? Her bleeding lady in waiting? I don't matter. You've gone in spoiled mood. Well, good. Oh, talk to Mamodi. Oh. Cutscene. Just who the hell do you think you're speaking to, maggot? I am not a maggot. I am a turd. No. No, I am a maggot. I'm... Yeah, yeah. Uh, me and me blood and marauders... Bloody. Really? With the language? Been reaving so long, mother scared the children with tales of us. Especially with that face. Don't believe me words? Then let me ask do the talking. Oh ho, this is lively even for the quicksand. You two gonna put a show on a show for us? What's this? Another fool? Show some respect when you talk to. Farmerl, the driven, leader of a troop of bloody mummers or some such. I have heard of you the first time. Your voice carries quite well. And unless you want to split your skull with me, Axe, you better. Insert Metal Gear Solid surprise. Ring! That sword. It couldn't be Frenzy, but only the Sword of Null would. Oh, it's you. Yeah, it's, it's that guy. You know, I've never been one to stand back and watch. Mind if I join the fun? I like this guy. Begging your pardon, sir? Really? Why do they always do that? Sigh. Looks like it's just you and me. Standing up to that guy was quite brave of you and quite foolish. I think I like you, Gladiator. Name's Aldous, and I'll, I bade you a drink, but I'm afraid I just spent the last of my coin. I used to be a young Gladiator like you. Back then, I, uh... But that hardly concerns you. These days, I'm just an explorer of the unexplored, a seeker of... A seeker of as yet unknown experiences. Like that beautiful stranger keeping my bed warm right now. And you're here, really? Gods, I miss this city, this wonderful desert jewel of debauchery and sin. Now, if you'll excuse me. Okay, now talk to Momodi. I swear, if I hadn't seen all this with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it was him. Everyone here thought he died years ago. Listen, do me a favor and don't tell Myla about meet Aldous, all right? She doesn't need this sort of drama. Why? Well, let's just say some folk ain't good for one another. Ah. They're that couple?
Already heard your exploits at the quicksand. You did well to send those marauders packing. I wish I could have. I wish I could say we've heard the last of them. Alas, we received por reports of axe wielding raiders assaulting merchants traveling through Scorpion Crossing. It seems word will not suffice after all. Want you to finish what you've begun, Aaron. Head to Western Thanalan and see that Farmer the Driven and all those who have shared in his crimes never trouble the people of Ulda again. Oh, I'm, it's one of those quests. Okay. No, I'm good. Bye, Karen. Oh, yeah. I can do this. That and that. Minion time. Who did I get? Barts. Hey, now I have my AOE. Now I can do more than one. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. This one. So let me go to the uh, residential area for Thanalan. Okay, if you until you get crafting jobs up you're not able to repair your own gear so you can either give it to somebody to repair for a cost or you can just have this person repair it right now i don't have anything to repair they they tore me from my saddle and took everything i own bring my goods back to me i beg of you he begs of us. Interacting has been added to the help desk. That guy. That guy. 
That guy. Okay. Any AOEs will actually show up on screen, so you don't have to worry about where to go. Fighter flight gives me higher damage. There's three. Ah, those are ladybugs. And if you'll notice in the minimap, you'll see actually the blue are fates, which are full active time events, which are world events that respawn every so often. And there can only be a set amount on in the zone at a time. And then it'll also show where I'm supposed to go for quests. Okay, he just reiterated what he said earlier. Well, bless you, adventurer. If it weren't for good women like you, I'd never leave home. Well, you are quite welcome, sir. Sodies. Basically, it's only adventures. Only adventures are able to purchase land in this area. Basically, it's the housing district for Thanalan. Why do you do that?
Sorry for any noise. But I'm readjusting my mic arm. Yeah, it's only for adventure. Sorry, lady. Good, it is finished. And with that, this stage of your training is complete. This time your enemies are ill-behaved ruffians, but who knows what manner of opponent you will face in the future. Regardless, I have faith that you will do well. Master your sword and you shall master yourself. <clears throat> now then, there will be work for you in the days to come. Return to your training errand, we will speak again. I get a new sword, a new chest piece, and that is... Whenever you do level five class quest, always choose the chess piece because it is the best option for you to have. And always do the, the blue recommended gear to do your best gear setup. Now I look like a gladiator. <coughs> hey, there we go. There they go. Here they come. Excuse me, ladies. See? Wind up Cloud, account wide. Wind up Benu, account wide. Tifa. Aerith which is how you're supposed to pronounce her name. SDS Fenrir, which is Cloud's bike. And Indigo Whale. Oh, 
cloud whale cloud bike Okay, I think I'm going to stop it here. There's a good stopping point. It's going to take me a bit to realize how to cut this for YouTube. Regardless, thank you for stopping by. I will post these as often as I can. Um... It will be a few times a week, depending on how good I get at editing. That's what I needed, editing. Um, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording and Yeah, it's been two, almost two and a half hours since I started recording. And like half an hour of that was just UI stuff, but I will post this ASAP and yeah, 